Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about how to create React application. What is React? Let's go to React site. React is a JavaScript library for building user interface by using components. The components are simple code to make the small UI components and that will compose to create a complex UI for our application. To create a React application, we need some tools. First one is Node.js. Node.js is a runtime environment for executing the JavaScript. We are not going to create a Node.js application. But if we want to run React application outside the browser, we need Node.js. After that, we need create React app tool. Go and browse, create React app. Go to the GitHub repository. You can see lot of libraries available in the React application. Here you can check the documentation in this link. If you go to create react application see this is the command to create react application where we can create react application already we have created server by using node.js and express inside the project folder we are going to create a client application that is called react application Inside the project folder, okay, here you have to type cmd. What is the command to create the React application? npx space create React app space your project name. Why we need this tool? Because it developed the web server for executing, dynamically executing react application whatever changes occurred in the react application it automatically update in the browser and also this create react app tool will provide the bunch of predefined libraries functionalities to our application will generate the pre configurations and dependencies to our project so let's create by using this command what is the command? npx space create hyphen react hyphen app. npx space create hyphen react hyphen app. Then we have to specify our project name, react project name. For that, I am going to give student client. Student client is our project name. Just hit enter it will create react app and some configurations all will be installed to our project this command will create the react application and include predefined functionalities for our project Now our project is successfully created. Success message on create created the student client in the project folder. Now just go and see our project folder. We have the student client project. If we go to the student client, we have the folder structure for our react application let's go into that folder for that cd space student client just hit enter it will go into that folder to start the react application we have to use npm space start the application is going to start Okay, webpack compile successfully. 
we can see our application in the url that is http colon localhost colon 3000 i'm just copying this and i'm going to paste it here our react application is created and running let's open the vs code inside the vs code we will open the our project folder our project folder is student client so add to workspace our client project is added so this is our react folder structure this is the react project folder structure here we have important files that is package.json and the source folder okay let us see what are the files available inside the student client what are the content available in the student client project first folder is node module node module basically having the what are the dependencies and third party libraries which are used by the react application and also it have react itself okay node module folder will contain the dependencies then react itself all the basic require functionalities will be added in the node module this folder will not be deployed during the production phase okay as a developer we don't want to worry about this folder because whatever we are installing it will be added in the node modules folder but we don't want to worry about this because automatically whatever dependencies whatever third parties we are going to install it will be added inside the node module folder okay next we have public folder in the public folder we have fav icon this is this public folder contains the assets public assets these assets can be accessed publicly then we have index.html let's see what are the content in the index.html this index.html will have simple meta tags and links tag see here we have link tag in the link tag we have linked to the fav icon and here we have another link tag that tag will have the manifest.json let's see the what is manifest.json this manifest.json file contains the metadata about our project okay we don't want to worry about this this is the basic details about our project after that we have some logo.png files right after that we have source folder in the source folder we have app.js file this is the file is responsible to display the content in our web publication so what we are seeing here is done by this app.js file here we have the image then we have the paragraph text then we have some hyperlinks which will be displayed in the our web page this image and the paragraph text and the hyperlink then we have app.css file this file having the styles for this app.js file here we have the class name app and we have the class name app iphone logo let's see here we have app class and also app logo okay next we have app.test.js file this is the file is used to test our application then we have another important file in the source folder is index.js this is the entry point for our react application okay here you see we have app.css file imported in our app.js file next we have the component app.js is called as a app component this component is displayed in our web browser here we have the function that is called app that is the component name of this application here we are having some html like file but this is not exact html this is called jsx javascript xml notation 
actually this JSX will not be understood by the browser. What the React app will do? This JSX format will be converted to pure JavaScript by the Babel. Babel is the modern JavaScript compiler. If you go to babeljs.io, then just click on try it out. Here I am going to copy this code. I am going to paste it here. The JavaScript version of this JSX will be generated automatically. The Babel is responsible to convert JSX to normal JavaScript code. Okay, just understand this. I am going to give where value equal to, I am going to specify paragraph tag. This is sample. I am going to close this tag. Here the equivalent code for this JSX will be generated. We don't want to worry about this because in background Babel will see this conversion process. Go to our project. This is the component name. We can create many components like this with different names. We can club together to create a proper UI for our project. Then we have index.js. This is the entry point for our React application. What are the component inside the app.js will be rendered inside the index.js that will be added to the index.html file in the public folder. In the public folder, we have this div element. This div element have the id of root. This will be taken here and then this app component this app component will be rendered here. Okay, we will do from scratch. As of now, you understand what is the process behind this React application. We will do this from scratch. Next, we have logo image and we have report web vitals that JS file. This is the file to measure the user metrics that is user experience on the react application then we have setup test.js file this is the file we are going to test our react application then the most important file of this react application react project is package.json this is the file will have the dependencies of the our react application here we have our project name and version and dependencies what are the dependencies added to our react application we don't want to worry about this we don't want to change anything here because whenever we are installing the any modules automatically those details will be updated in the package.json in the next video how to create app component and how to render it in the index.js thank you everyone